Welcome guys to episode 5 of the Virto 2.0 tutorial series. This episode is going to be a very brief introduction on how 3D graphics work. This is to familiarize yourself if you've never done or, or messed around with 3D modeling before. Uh, it's a very, very basic, very short video just explaining the concepts of 3D modeling so that when we dive into the actual edit mode next episode, it will make more sense. So starting out, uh, I'm going to teach you guys the two most basic building blocks of 3D models or 3D objects, and those are the primitives. You can think of them almost like atoms of 3D models, um, polygons and, and vertices. So very quick overview. Um, vertices are points in 3D space in the X, Y, Z axis. So the best way you can think of them is they are just points anywhere in 3D space. And vertices are can be unassociated by themselves or you can link them together into shapes and those shapes are commonly called 3D polygons or just polygons. The most basic kind of polygon is the triangle. Um, every model that you've ever seen in a 3D game, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, they're all made out of thousands or sometimes even millions of these little triangles. Everything in 3D modeling is about triangles. Um, I mean, the idea of a plane, you can build that out of, out of a triangle as well. And as you guys notice, the plane is the object that all Virto Studio scenes start out with. And, and they can be, their wireframe looks like this. Uh, the exception to that is a lot of 3D modeling software, Virto Studio included, likes to allow people to work with four sided polygons, which are called quads. And those are made out of, of four vertices linked together that make a 3D quad. So that is essentially what a polygon is. Every model you ever can think of, I can't uh, stress this enough, is made out of polygons. A good example is this model right here is, it, when you look at the wireframe of it, is, it's just a bunch of triangles linked together. And it's really neat when you actually think about the kind of stuff that you can create out of these triangles. And at the very core of 3D modeling is using 3D modeling software to create models out of triangles. That's that's all there is to it. So when you pop into edit mode in Virto Studio, the, the software gives you full control over the vertices and the polygons that, are, that every mesh is made out of. Um, that is essentially polygons and vertices. There's one more important concept to mention, and that is lighting. Um, way, way, way back in the 90s when 3D games first started out, uh, all, a lot of 3D games didn't do lighting. So you can see this model here looks very bright, but there's actually, outside of the texture map, there's no lighting being done on it. It's basically self-illuminated, meaning there's no, there's no lighting being done. So the concept of CG or, or 3D shading and lighting came about, and what that allows you to do is add a light to your scene and then use that light to apply dynamic lighting to the models so that when the light moves around, the model looks differently. It's really important that I bring up this concept of lighting to you guys because lighting requires, um, besides the vertices and the polygons, something special to work, and that's called normals. And no lighting needs normals. Normals are your friend when you're working with 3D geometry. Uh, modeling software such as Virto Studio manages these normals often for you, meaning you don't have to manually move them around. The idea with a normal is when you manipulate the geometry or when you manipulate the, the, the 3D object polygons, the normals are recalculated or updated for you automatically. A real quick explanation of what a normal is, a normal or sometimes called a normal vector is a line or a vector that is perpendicular to the polygon, meaning uh, it's as if it's sticking out of the polygon. And the reason why that's useful for lighting is that if you have a light in your scene, you're able to use that vector or arrow to determine if the light or, or the surface is pointed or aimed towards the light. Because if a, if a surface is aimed towards the light, it's going to be bright. And as the surface points away from the light, it starts to get darker. And the, uh, the, I, the general idea um, is that when it points completely away from the light, it's completely dark, meaning that the light is not striking the surface. And this is a very important concept because when you're dealing with Roto Studio or when you're dealing with any modeling software, you want to make sure your lighting looks right. And, and the way to do that is, is to keep an eye on your normals. Um, it's also worth noting um, one last little tidbit that a normal that is pointing away from the light um, 
can sometimes be pointing so far away that the light is actually behind it. So you can think of a polygon as sometimes being two-sided or one-sided. And with a one-sided um, lighting schematic, which Virto Studio uses by default, if the light is on the other side of the polygon, it'll still be completely dark. So if you're ever dealing with problems with your lighting, it's only generally because you have your normals facing in the wrong direction. And there's a feature in Virto Studio to just select any polygon and flip the normal so that the, the arrow would be pointing on the other side of the polygon. So that is the basic, really short primer of how 3D graphics works. At